Welcome to this week's issue of Play Print 21, the weekly TV news bulletin from print21.com.au. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of the magazine. News this week in the printing industry is led by Picton Press, the long-running saga of the Perth printer. Finally over, the uh, liquid, the administrators invited the creditors to put the company into liquidation this week, which they promptly did. Uh, it's been a saga that's been going on for the past uh, 15 months, ever since Picton couldn't pay a $1.3 million uh, tax bill. ATO sort of winding up order. Picton directors Gary Kennedy, Dennis Haig put the business into administration uh, and since then the, uh, it's been a long running saga of trying to keep the company afloat. Uh, primarily through a very controversial financial uh, piece of engineering, the DOCA, Deed of Company Arrangement, under which uh, the uh, administrators, uh, the company was going to uh, pay the ATO one between one cent and two cents in the dollar while get the creditors who were, pay, who were owed less than $10,000 and the employees would get 100 cents in the dollar. They all voted for the DOCA, of course, to get the 100 cents. The ATO was outraged, enraged, and has spent, spent the last year fighting, or last almost year, uh, fighting the proposal through the courts. There been numerous court appearances um, because they simply refused to accept it. All the other printers in Perth, of course, are up in arms, infuriated. They're saying Picton is paying one cent in the dollar to the ATO and to the paper merchants, for that matter. We're paying 100 cents in the dollar. How can we possibly compete? Uh, anyway, the upshot is, at the end of it, uh, Picton is no more, it's now dust, uh, the company's gone broke, it's in liquidation and uh, with debts of more than $10 billion, 6.8 million secured debts, 3.5 million unsecured. Unsecured creditors likely to get very little, there is a press there that's worth a fair bit. Um, uh, banks got uh, some uh, say on that but it'll still be, still be some money coming but not much else. Tough news, tough news for all printers because the paper uh, insurers who were insured the paper uh, they will be up for a big hit there and that will impact on the rest of the printing industry as it always does. Paper merchants are, uh, are struggling to get insurance these days or will struggle to get insurance. Uh, other news from the uh, printing industry, also in liquidation, Sydney Allen company went broke three years ago. Uh, its trade suppliers for the six months prior to the company going broke have been receiving letters from the, re, from the administrator seeking the return of monies that were paid in the period prior to the company going broke. Legitimate invoice, legitimate work done, legitimate invoices sent in, legitimate money paid back. Under a uh, scheme and the Corporations Act, the, the administrator, the liquidator can try and reclaim that money. It's called uh, unfair preferences claims set up originally to prevent directors from paying monies to their wives' companies, their mates' companies when they know the company's going broke. But tough news, you, uh, you do a job, get paid for it, three years later someone wants that money from you. Tough news for printers. Uh, other news this week, the live uh, packaging New Frontiers in Packaging and Print event is only two and a half weeks away. Uh, we've got a great show going on there. Campbell Arnott's will be doing a, a demonstration of AR, augmented reality with print on one of their snack brands at the show. Uh, from an app that's only available at the show to show printers how they can in incorporate AR. That whole show is going to be great. Go to print21.com.au for all the details on live new frontiers in packaging. That's it for this week. Uh, go to the website print21.com.au. Uh, you read my fun full analysis of the Picton story and plenty of other news there as well on the printing industry.